Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth, uh, mid-50s, sunny, just like yesterday. We'll take it. Uh, we have uh, 65 and sunny tomorrow. We'll talk about the rain on Friday at another time. Uh, today, well, let's just enjoy the sunshine, shall we, Candy? Rain is not snow, so that's a plus in my book. Yeah, oh, whew. You ain't kidding. If we, you know, this is about the time of year that we, you know, last year, I feel like I got us through the winter by breaking it down for you, Candy. And here's how I like you to think were about it. unusually positive. Well, uh, when you think about it, it goes quicker than you think. And here's why. It'll be Christmas before you know it. Thanksgiving's going to go by in the blink of an eye. And then you got like three weeks till Christmas. Everyone's out, busy, doing things, holidays. So before you know it, you're in January. Now... It takes everyone a couple weeks just to get themselves motivated in January. Now you're at the middle of January. You are only a couple of weeks away from the shortest month of the year, February. Tiny little month. No worries. It's And then you're in March where spring begins. Candy, mm. we will be through winter before you know it. You're going to blink. I like the way you think, but March is really an evil month. <laughs> it could it's be. It's evil. It could be. You know it's evil. Yeah. Like, can we just have a little bit of climate change and not kill the whole planet? Like, wouldn't it be nice if we had enough climate change where winter was like, you know, 46 degrees, right? Right. Like right. you don't you don't go under thirty, you don't get the snow. You, even you want to say thirty nine degrees, like I'm okay with that. Leave it above freezing and just we skate along. We 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 move on into the uh, the spring. Wouldn't that be nice, Candy? Let's do one day at a time. Today's going to be rather nice. Yeah, yeah, it is. I don't want to uh, think too far. March <laughs> just hurt my stomach a little. <laughs> like, thinking about how bad it can be in March. Yes. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that now. Fine, we won't. Uh, by the way, also want to mention um, the Total Mortgage Arena right across the Long Island Sound in Bridgeport, Connecticut, steps off the Port Jeff Ferry. Uh, they have Cody Johnson coming May 20th, and we're doing a big thing with them. Uh, and uh, Jay Letterman has tickets to give away to Cody Johnson uh, during the week, you could listen to him today after 12 o'clock. He will give some of those away. You're going to see Cody Johnson on the CMA Awards tonight. And uh, those tickets go on sale next Friday, a week from this Friday, the 18th, for the Total Mortgage Arena in Bridgeport. Which, by the way, if you take the ferry over there, you literally, you step off the ferry. It's less than a minute walk to the arena. So, uh, yeah, big, big doings with Cody. He's got a big, big tour on the way. Candy, explain to me how I'm in my car yesterday or I'm, I'm, you know, getting to the office after the show, whatever, and all of a sudden I get an alert on my phone and it says that the Powerball numbers have been drawn and someone in California has won and yep. it's like, it's 10 in the morning and I'm thinking, what a scam. How did they, what's going on here? Well, you know, they didn't draw the numbers when they usually do because there was some sort of thing, I think, in Iowa. I said, oh. forget Iowa. Why do they have to be part of this? Right, But right. they held off and fixed whatever they had to fix and it all smells suspicious to me. Everybody was expecting another drawing, was it yesterday or today or something, and all of a sudden you get an alert, like CNN alert or whatever, Powerball has been drawn. It's like 10 a.m., I'm having breakfast, whatever, and somebody's won Powerball. I'm like, what's it? Sounds like a scam to me, Candy. Sounds it's all bad. Sus what do we say now as a young... It's sus. It's sus. It's sus. It's so it's sus. It's sus. It's so, so sus. Oh, my kids would be so proud of me. Leah would love it oh, right now. Oh, so uh, sus. So, so, every, everything in society is so sus, Candy. You have to you have to just question everything. It's crazy. It's sus. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the terminology. Nuts. Uh, so, somebody is uh, ha has won $2 billion in Powerball without anybody knowing that numbers were even being drawn, which is just... Well, there was a whole lot due. Something happened. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, so we start back from the beginning. We'll, uh, you know, we'll go back. What does it go back to? 40 million, 50 million, whatever it is. I don't play. Do you, I literally don't get involved until it's about uh, 500 million. What about you? I, yeah. 
Anything under 500 million, who cares? Who wants that? Yeah, I don't want that. That's nonsense. That's My that's... thing is I say, oh, I'm going to get a ticket, and then I forget. But Brian's pretty good at keeping up with that. So Yeah. Bri- He'll listen, share his winnings. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of that. He doesn't have anything going on. Brian gets up. He, <laughs> he stirs his that's coffee. That's true. He checks to see what the jackpot is. He buys a lottery ticket. Maybe he'll prepare some dinner. Uh, so he's he's in charge of all that stuff. Absolutely. Uh, so good for him. Uh, Candy, I have another story which I thought was interesting. Did you know there is a uh, place called Karen's Diner that was opened, you know, after the whole Karen thing took off, Candy? Yes, yes. Uh, somebody opened a Karen's Diner um, in Australia, and now there are 16 locations, including one in St. Louis. And I guess I think I'm looking here at the one in St. Louis where um, so overall, the whole chain, their motto is great burgers and very rude service. So they're overly (laughs) rude to customers. You can complain all you want. They don't care. They wouldn't do anything about it. This is the concept of the place, right? Okay, so it sounds fun, right? You go in. It sounds funny, yeah. Until they get really nasty with me, and then I have to get really nasty back, and maybe Uh, that won't be so funny. Well, it's interesting. Now they're back in the news. Oh, this is the Australia location. Then back in the news, because employees at the location in Melbourne, Australia, were so unhappy with their working conditions, they actually asked to speak with management about it, like... Karen Wood, right? So six current and former employees filed a complaint claiming it's an unsafe work environment that customers threaten them, harass them, just like you said, get violent. Well, if someone's going to be nasty to you, chances are you'll be a little nasty back. Well, but you know what you're in for when you go into this place. True. You're, right? You, some you're going. people, you know what? They just like being nasty. Yeah, so... The, the 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 servers the employees who were fighting this they went and told management what do you think management did about it they said all right we're stopping it let's no. be nice no they held firm to their concept they did nothing management mm. did nothing for the for the workers i don't know if i'd be running to that that eatery yeah exactly so uh and they claim management claims that the servers had to sign a waiver uh, before they started work saying the diner was not responsible for anything that happens to them. Is that wow. nuts? That's, That's nuts. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to work there. I don't think I want to eat there either. Yeah, I don't think it's legal for a for a, a boss to say, we, we're not going to take care of you. That's, uh, yeah, no matter what the concept of the restaurant. Yeah, it's not sounding good. Yeah, so uh, anyway, uh, interesting doings there at the uh, Karen Diner. Less than 20 minutes to your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Uh, 55 and sunny today. We'll take it. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.